Okay. So I'm going to have to set up the project again. And um, so today we will continue. And um, let me show you a little preview. No. Okay, like that part. And um, let's see what it is here. Oh, I didn't notice that. I thought these are single piece. This not. So we're gonna ignore that. We don't need to create that gap. So it's gonna look like this. And um, I didn't use a actual Ford logo. So you can kind of punch the. Uh, the alphabet inside the surface and it look like this. If I put one, here we go. So that's one. And this section, so this is one. And um, now I switch to four, you will see that I just delete some faces on the grill. That's all I did. And that's what we're going to do together. And then uh, we're going to start to add a little surface to extend more. And so today we're going to build this section, only focus on that section. Um, I think that should be enough time. So I'm going to go back to this. And this is where we were. Here we go. So. I put the grill inside the layer, uh, inside the mashed layers. Okay, so now basically the grill is gonna be inside, will be pushed inward a little, right? Because based on the image here, we look at it. So we're gonna build this section for today. The grill, oh! <laughs> I just noticed is actually the grills are kind of floating, floating. Look at that. There's a big space there. I think because of this is a, what do you call that? The uh, steam block? What do you call that? To cool down the engine. Radiator, yes, thank you. That's the name. Okay, so let's do that. And let me make sure, so that part of the grill I think the grill is actually go a little off not off like this is the part that the uh, this section will be I don't know what this is is it could be like the, uh, to put the water inside the radiator I don't think it's an oil it's probably radiator okay so we can prep a little bit by add slender. Just put a slender, cylindrical shape. And then we're going to connect them later on. So now when you move the cylindrical shape, somehow my, I don't want to keep moving my surface. So I'm going to have to do this instead. Light it up to the center. There we go. And let's do only six. I think six should be good. Or no, 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 no. Has to be eight. There's a reason. I want this line to match. Can you see right there? Like these two lines right there. Because we're gonna make them become a single object later. So, not now. Not now. Okay. So that will be another part. Now. The section that will be the grill frame, we're going to reuse this surface. So just duplicate it and then move it out a little. You can scale it to make it thinner. 
this will be a grill and how thick that would be though well look at on this side move it right there so I think it's right can you see that line right there so approximately don't need to be exact Just duplicate it. Yeah, I did. I'm trying to see where you put it. Mm -hmm. Oh, on the side. Oh, just look at. Hey, guys. Actually, when we duplicate it, you know what? Just duplicate. Don't scale it yet. Just duplicate it. And um, I think it would be easier to just delete the face. You know. Oop. Let me. Hey, guys. After you duplicate it, just move it out a little bit and then right mouse click remove it from the layer so that you can template that layers oh that one got to be inside and here we go so look like this and put that in to here we go. What faces did you delete? Um, you can delete the back side just leave it only the font like that And um, the reason that I want to do that because I want it to be match with the tip part of this guy, the radiator. This is going to be the frame of the grill, and this is the radiator. So I want it to match the side. Okay. And now I want you to double click this section and extrude it and just move backward so that look like this here we go that's all we need okay and um because of this is what I'm planning that will be that section oh my is a little too thick well I think maybe we should kind of try to match with this size instead of the reference on the image plane. So that what I wanted. I want that frame. Okay. So I think mine is too too far. How about that? And I'm gonna move this backward a little bit. Here we go. And it will be bigger, right? Look at there. So we're gonna extrude them outward, but not yet. Not yet. The reason is, I want you to select all of these face because we're going to create a frame inside there. We're going to create this section. Now to create it, we're going to extrude without moving it, change the offset. Let's try 5. 5 is too big, too thick. So how about 2.5? I think 2.5 looks good so far and then you just delete the face inside now you get that frame here we go and we're gonna add thickness of the frame here because it does has a thickness even though it's little, little we still have to have some so extrude face and then just move forward just a little bit And if I s control one, oops, sorry, control one, not, not good, uh, press four, can you see I got the thickness all side, right here too? Okay. And let me exaggerate a little bit and let me make it a little thicker than supposed to based on the image. So that is uh, easy to see. Here we go. Look like that. And I'm going to move the grid, the grill, close to the font section. So I'm going to have to uh, switch the layer to regular layers. Then I can move this. Here we go. OK. So now we're going to have to trim something and add something. forward forward 
like this, okay. close to the uh, to the frame, like based on the image. Can you see it like yeah. really close? Gotcha. I can do a little closer. Here we go. Okay. So I want you to move, uh, remove the grill off the uh, mask layer temporarily, and then you can template everything else so that we can edit the grill. Oops. Save your scene as into a different version. I'm going to do seven this time because my sick is not good. Okay. So now open up outliner because we might need to uh, worry, uh, concern about the outliner. So these, you can delete history, Alt Shift D and face transform the, and then you can call grill frame or something like that. So that when you look at on outliner, easy to figure it out what they are. So, and now this is what we need to extend. I'm gonna close my uh, turn off my image plane layers, so that I don't see it. I'm gonna turn off mask layer too. So this is what we need to concern it. We need to extend those line. Now. You cannot scale that because you scale, basically you're going to change the proportion. You need extra surface. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just duplicate this guy. Just duplicate this one. And you move it down. Here we go. So basically, you're going to reposition switch to full so that we can see I want it to touch you can highlight translate Y and middle mouse drag here we go it's about there doesn't have to be perfect we want this we want one two three four it's about four span the rest of them we can get rid of it r rid of it we just want the span to be inside that frame that's all so I'm gonna right click choose face delete some and if I press F, it will look like this. I can double click and delete. And this, this is what I wanted. I just want that section. That's it. So that we can merge them to one, two, three, four. I don't think we need that. Yep, just only one, two, three, four. So it's about six of them, seven of them. So now. Before we do anything else, though, okay, we're gonna change the pivot, uh, not change the pivot point. Look at right here, turn on move to, and modify center pivot so that we can see the pivot point. And now I want you to change the pivot point, press D and hold V key, and just grab one of them uh, on the corner and then snap to one of the corner so that you can hold V key and then snap it to connect to not to connect to make it looks like they are ma uh, they are on top of each other uh, they are what do you call uh, to snap to their vertex so what we're gonna do here um, I almost forget we need to look at on the pattern too. So the pattern should be correct too. It should be inward and then come out like that. So I'm gonna select both of them and under show isolate control one so that we can see only these two shape temporarily. We're gonna combine them and, and merge vertices. So select both, shift right mouse click and combine and then select all the vertices right there. So now if I go to display, here's up display, polycount, and it said 12, six pair, because six side, 12. So 12 is 12 vertices, six pair of vertices. Shift right mouse click, 
merge vertex, merge vertices, and merge. So now they become single. Control one to bring everything back. We do the center one. Feeds transform, oh no, uh, modify, edit, delete by type, history. Clear the history. And we just need to replace this one, two, three, four. Replace those four. And if you remember, last time when we move, we move one unit, right? You can try Control D and then move. It's about one unit, see? Minus one on that side. So this is what we're going to do. Okay. You're going to delete the section that are too short. There we go. Four of them. And then you're going to duplicate special. Move, move to the left. Edit. Duplicate special. And um, negative X minus one. And four object. Apply. Here we go. Now you're going to do the same with these four on the other side. Select, edit, duplicate special. This time will be positive. Apply. Here we go. So right now it's permutated, so we're going to have to delete some phases. And so we're going to switch to four again. So this guy, I will delete somewhere like that. Go. Select that. Delete. Doesn't have to be exactly same length. This one good. That one. So basically, what we're doing now is just trimming all the ones that. Right. Exactly. Okay. So the rest of them, you you're gonna do the same. Now the horizontal, you still need. I think you may need to extend one. Oh no no, not horizontal. Now for the horizontal, basically you're going to have to trim it off, just like this. Here we go. Trim it. That one's good. Anything that's kind of punitated outside of the frame, you trim it. Very straightforward. Just like that. And left and right, you don't even need to worry about uh, equal length. As long as they cover it by frame. You might need to check on your side too. Like perspective view. Here we go. I still missing some part right there. Here we go. One more, two more actually. <laughs> now, test by selecting the group nodes, see if all lines are, uh, all grill are selected. Because if we duplicate spatial, it put it on the world space, doesn't put it on the hierarchy. What you need to do is you need to reselect the grill that are not belong to the group. And then just shift select oop, the group selection handle, press P, and then now it will get inside. And 
we almost done, except, oh, I'm missing <laughs> right there. Right there, phase, missing a few. Here we go. We will cut the hole in the center later. Okay. So on the grill, uh, on the uh, frame, you need to add continue uh, discontinuity. So right here, one, two, three. When you press three, it look like this. Press one back. Get that section in the inside. So basically, stop continuity. Three. Here we go. Now, I think it's round enough. Ah, one more piece. Right there. Okay. Save your file. So now, can you guys look at on my screen quick? What about this section, the top? If I wanted to have sharp. Basically, I have to have stop continuity on left and right. Now, there's a trick here. If you right mouse click, uh, no, shift right mouse click, you have offset is loop. Offset it, uh, offset it loop. What it does is it's add a is loop on left and right on the selected edge. So when I turn this on, I move my cursor over the this edge. When I click and drag, can you see? I add an offset edge loop. So basically, I will get equal amount left and right, the distance. That's all. You can also using multi-cut, but multi-cut, you need to hold shift so that you can kind of force to step. 10% at a time until both left and right are equal. But offset is loop, you don't have to do that. So when I press three, here we go, I got a sharp corner on the end, uh, on the center, look like this. Here we go. Okay. And uh, oh, that's right. Thank you. Yes, I forgot about that. And offset is loop. Okay. Thank you for reminding me. I would forget. Okay. Here we go. So now we're going to add the logo. So we're going to build a single shape. OK. So to do that, you're going to just use cylindrical. Really easy one. Move in the spot. And rotate 90 degree on my on X, just like that. And you may need to. Uh, oh, my grill is not the center. Uh, it's center of the world space, but everything else my is not lined up. Hey guys, I make a mistake, but in this case, I'm gonna have to keep doing this by moving. The grill set itself so that they looks like they are in the middle of the frame, the grill frame. There we go. So now, where the location this would be, let's take a look at the reference. I think it's probably right around there. And um, let's use that. So a little forward to the top part so I'm gonna move it up just a bit how about let make the center right one of the grill 
and reduce the size to add lower okay. and we're going to turn off cap temporary turn it off there we go. because we're going to and go to object mode I like you to scale it non-uniform I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger right there maybe bigger let's cover at least um, full real full full grill on the horizontal little bigger is okay all right so now let's press 3 to see how it look when we press 3 it's going to smooth that's good go back to 1 now extrude the font face to get the thickness uh, the thickness and offset it how about I think my should be 1.5 Let's take a look at the photo again. Yeah, it's about maybe 1.25. Yeah, I think my is kind of too 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 big. Let me scale it down a little bit. How about just like that? Here we go. Okay. And you can make it a little thinner. Okay. Now we can punch this in. Just like that. You need to extrude a second time? Yep. Select only that face and punch it in like that. And let the grill show up because we're going to remove those grill parts. Okay. And now what about this section? We're going to flat it out right there. So, you're going to cut, face, oh, multi-cut, and cut right here. So that we get a border. If you shift, double click, you can extrude it, and then move, just like that. Here we go. So it looks like this. Can you see? Mine is a little too big. It is too big. <laughs> and too thick too. To make it thinner, well, I'm going to move this face backward to thin it. Here we go. And you can bevel this section, this area, bevel it, and just, here we go. Okay. Now, after you bevel it, I think this line can be removed now. Here we go. Did you mess with the bevel settings at all? Oh, I make it a little thinner. Okay, and you do that by adjusting the fraction? Yes, that's it. Yeah, so that there won't be too many. And um, now for the inside there, we can just leave it as. Okay. So now let's press three. How look? We're gonna have to create a uh, stop continuity. So go back to one. Shift right mouse click, multi cut. Stop continuity. gonna go backward instead right there here we go and the inside go. press 3 see how it look and I want I want the uh, 
right here angle I want it to be smooth so I'm not going to stop continuity because the bevel is already held okay. and we need to make sure they are five corner uh, four corner so go to optic mode and then you can isolate the selection to see only this shape and I'd like you to cut this full corner and because we do a six side we would get perfectly full corner shape same here on the back and really uniform too here we go I'm gonna delete history control uh, alt shift D and I'm gonna freeze transform here we go what do you call this grill local emblem <laughs> just logo mash here we go okay so now how can we punch the hole before you punch not not punch the whole the uh, craft the uh, alphabet inside. Um, hey guys, you could actually download the Ford logo, the 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 uh, the text, and then import it into Illustrator and use a uh, um, auto trace or manually trace to get a. Um, shape like a path and then you can import it into Maya and extrude it and then you can punch that hole I'm not going to do that for this excess uh, for this project you could just like Ford so you could just create type and after you create type you will get that now to change the scale, you will have to use scale two. But before to do that, before to do that, click on tight tab one. Change to forward. Here we go. And the font type, pick sans uh, pick serif. So I would get with I will go with this. Looks kind of close to <laughs> not exact, but and now. Under geometry, and hold on, deform type. Here we go. Under geometry, expand deform type. Now, H, let me press F. Here we go. Right now, there are five lines on the center. We need just one. Uh oh, not that one. Sorry. One moment, guys. I got confused. Oh, right here. Extrude division. Sorry. Wrong. We just want one. Just one. The rest of them, leave it as smooth as is. Okay. So now I'm going to scale this down. Turn on scale 2. And scale it down. Move it. You don't, need, you don't need to change pivot point. You can if you want. Yes? What font did you use? Um, I just use a... Uh, I think this one is more appropriate. Um, basically, when you click on it, look for sand type font. Oh, not sand. Uh, serif. Serif is, has this kind of a... Like a time. Sand serif is more like a straight line. So, like a serif is this that part serif serif if it's sans serif it's mean without serif so a straight line and and uh, um, you could shift select to the logo modify match translate and then start it to manipulate I want you to make it a small and fit inside And we can edit individual. 
So I'm going to do control one. Here we go. To hide temporarily. And you go to face. Double click. When you double click, it will select the element of those faces. See? So now it's allow me to move to change. Let me do them all at once. Here we go. I wanted to move them closer. Subtract. Here we go. Just a little bit closer. Control 1 to bring it back. Here we go. Now, if you like, you could hide. Um, let's focus. Um, right now, I am, if I do Control 1, everything show 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 back uh, show show back up so I'm gonna select only the font and the logo control one all side uh, all view here we go. top view we're gonna just leave as is here we go look like this <coughs> now what you need to do is we're gonna do boolean so it's mean these guys has to be longer can you see need to be overlap so I just extrude, uh, scale it and then how far how deep do I need it though so you look at on this view this is too deep I just wanted to cut right in it's about in the middle did you just select the faces that were on the back of the words to, and then move them backwards or did you scale it no no you scale it just scale, scale it easier Yep, easier. And we are kind of like eyeballing it to get it in the middle. Exactly. Of the yep. Sure. Like, do not make it punitive because if it punitive out to the back, it cannot be Boolean. Okay. It will fail. Now, what you can do though, you could move this face forward if you want. So that you get more, punit uh, you get more overlapping. So, here we go. And um, now, you need to delete history on font face on the type. Alt-Shift-D, so that they don't have those stack. Those stack will cause calculation because it might slow down or it just fees. Okay. So, and just eyeballing the location. And now we are ready. Can you watch my screen quick and then uh, I'll, I'll give you five minutes. So you will have to select the base and then shift select the font that will punch in under edit mash, uh, under mash, boolean and different. And that's it. Now after you punch it in, you need to uh, let Maya recalculate the topology because this if we don't do that um, we can't modify anything else so shift right mouse click and choose clean up and on clean up what you need is turn on face with more than full side and that's it and it will look messy but it's just the way it is here we go so now one more thing, because type font has its own texture, so you need to right click and assign Lambert, not type blend, so that they are match color. Now, one more thing, after you delete this, you need to stop continuity. If you press three, here we go, and I'm gonna turn that off. Can you see it look like this? looks really bad. It's just because we need to stop continuity on this area. So how do how do we do that? Before we start doing that, can you, can you show us how to put it inside the emblem again? Did you close the way? Uh, oh, say it again. How did you push it into the emblem? You, you just move it in and then look at on the side view. No, no, so I, I get that. I mean, like, how did you boolean? Boolean. Oh, oh. Mash, Boolean, and choose different. Different will subtract. 
intersect will keep only the intersection. Boolean is union. Uh, the union is just unite. So it's different. different. But you need to select the logo first and then the type after. So it means you select the type first. Um, you clean up. Okay, can you show us how to clean up? Again? Shift right mouse click, clean up. And then just turn on face with more than full. That's all. Okay. This will, because otherwise you have to cut by yourself. In this case, we don't want to do that. It's too much work. All right. And now, to stop continuity, you need to select only the face right here. Make sure you select one at a time because we're going to, instead of doing a uh, multi-cut, we can't because they are triangle. Can you see there are a bunch of triangle? So we cannot multi-cut, but we can do like this. Extrude and then we offset it. Like point 0.1. Here we go. Point zero 0.05. And then when it press 3, can you see? There will be a little straight line for us. Let me turn that off. Here we go. See that? Little straight line. So now, not done yet. This section, you may need it too. So you're going to have to select the face. And then you extrude because we can't cut it. So we're going to do this with every single right. letter. Okay. A little tedious, but right. no choice. <laughs> point zero 0.05. I think I'm going to keep just only point zero 0.05. Oh, this one, point zero 0.05 is too much. Point zero 0.025. Here we go. And now, if you guys remember these two, Paint selection to allow you to using a paint brush to select the surface. So this might might speed things up a little more too. Here we go. Can you see? And then extrude this one. My offset will be point zero two five. Here we go. Now the the, the side one, I think pen selection tool is not going to work well. Shift double click is the best. Point zero 0.05, here we go. So our, my computer is starting to run a little bit slow, can we go ahead? And Delete history. Okay, something should be good. Hey guys, if, yeah, if your system is slow, you got to delete history. And make sure save on the D drive, not working on thumb drive because chance of crashing really high. Whenever you work with Boolean, there's a lot of chance of crash. So I'm guessing we'll have to also or at least offset the um, indention faces, like the back of the emblem there. Which that one, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, you have to do that too. Okay. I mean, look at it first. If they if they look okay, you can leave it there too. So it depends on the situation. And just remember, uh, if you don't do a close up shot on this section, you may be able to skip it, it also. So it depends on the time. However, what we're doing is we we want it to add as many as detail we could. What I mentioned is, is uh, when you work on your own project. So just um, analyze it. If it needs it, it is. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. Here we go. And you might want to press 
press 3 to see how it look. If it look okay, good. If it's not, add more. So now, can you see O and R are good on my Yes. You mean like this guy? Yeah. Oh, you have to do clean up. Oh, I gotta be on object mode, hold on. And clean up. Um, and then uh, option is face with more than full side. Uh, okay. You have to do that. Because if you don't clean up, it will become a uh, incorrect polygon topology. Because it has to be either three or four cannot be more than that. It's a little tricky there, but. Just remember, while you're working, you can work with n gone, or more than five, more than six, but when you're done, you need to make sure they are either four or three. And make sure you might miss some of the edges. Right, what I did, here we go. Extrude. Here we go. All right. I almost done. There we go. Hey guys, um the font face is here. You should use a uh, paint selection because that will be easier because <coughs> there's so many of them. You might need to change brush size a little bit or some area. So B key to change the brush, brush size of selection, B key with left mouse button. You guys doing okay? Yeah, it's just time consuming. Gotcha. I feel bad for people who have not started. <laughs> because yeah. it's gonna be crazy when you try to get this done. <laughs> and some people still not really finished the f second project neither. I know. I looked through the videos and I didn't see any portions where like you had recorded about doing the shred, so I had to like figure that one out. Really? Yeah. I, I looked through like the wheel video and the, the ones around it and it was like he did You mean the the, the tire tread? I'm going to have to go back and take a look at it, like, how did I miss that? I mean, it may be there, I just, I just missed it. 
it might, yeah. guys sometime when you switch to four you can see the selection better so time to time press four and go back to five are you also shooting the whole background say it again are you also shooting that whole background right there yes yes all right cool i was going to ask if we needed to do that because i thought we had so just extrude and then offset like really little here we go so now I think I'm done. Press three. Here we go. <laughs> I had a bad line there. I'm missing some part. I'm gonna have to undo. Here we go. I'm missing some surface. I'm gonna have to use paint selection tool. Help to paint that. Think this extrude again. Uh oh, I'm missing something there again. problem with this side right there and that one hmm. hey guys you might have a little trouble right here on on the uh, on the front face because there's some part that the lines are almost overlap that we can't see like this one after I extrude it see I saw the problem there so I'm gonna have to here we go really work on this selection. I think that one caused it. Aha, uh -huh, I can see it now. Hey guys, um sometime when you are on one, can you press on three? Because when you press on three you will see if you have a selection that incorrect, I got it right there. Because it's so close to each other, I could m merge vertices. I, I should have done that. And I'm missing some too. Here we go, look at that. Wow. That doesn't look great. bad looking I 
I mean, do if you can't really fix them, you could delete some surface afterward. Now it works on my. I have a little awkward looking right here. It's just so much geometry there. It's okay. I'm gonna just leave leave as it is. It's gonna be small anyway. So I think that's good. So delete history again. And um hey guys, can you look at on my screen quick? So the 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 next thing you need to do is you need to cut this part, uh cut some section off like this. Like what we did. Open up like split it up the bar, the grill. There we go. You might need to switch to four. Here we go. Okay. And that's it. So now if I turn this off, look like this. guys you could put the emblem in the same group of th as the grill so that when you select the grill they all go together so we're gonna select the emblem shift select the group node and press P so now when I grab the group node the emblem will go with it here we go oh, I got a little more face to here we go. Okay. That's better. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should group the frame and the grill together. So, oh no no sorry guys. Um, let's put the um, the frame inside the group node of the grill, so that we keep it in one. Where were some of the um, just before I extrude this background? Where were some of the lines that you faced that you like forgot at first? What letter were they on? We don't have. Or like the when you were selecting all the. Oh, what happened is this, um, when, I, when I'm on one and I select the face, yeah. when I press three, I could see the missing part. Oh, and then okay. I just shift select the, the missing one. Okay, so we need to do that. Yeah. Okay. Right. So that, um, because some of them are like on top of each other. Because when we use Maya to, to organize mass, my eye will just try to do it best. Yes, that's fine. Yeah. So, some of those faces um, that are like when you hit the three button. Yeah. And uh, you can see them overlapping. They're like. Right. 
Oh, okay. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, if it overlaps, you can subtract them. If it's missing, you add. It's just because of when, when we do three, it also relax the geometry, and then we can see the split easier. I mean, if you know what it is, you can come back and edit them like a later. You don't have to get get it perfectly right today. Do you think can we do more on the hood? Or do you want to call off for today? You done? Oh, okay. So let's do one more. Let's do this section. Oh wait. What did you say? Sorry. I said I just needed like one more second. One more second. What about you, Jane? You good to do more? Okay, all right. Can you uh, look at my screen real quick and uh, tell me if it's like, because I'm kind of confused in terms of the, uh, which faces I am supposed to select here, because I'm in three view. Yeah, um, it's, it's really hard to tell because I couldn't tell until I add extrude. And then when you add extrude and offset and then press three, and if you see the problem, undo and go back and check on your selection. That's what I did. Because it's so hard to tell. Uh, and Levi, uh, Levi's, you need to check by doing this. Like, press three and deselect it, and don't turn on wireframe on share so that you can see if it's smooth enough. Actually, you can still fix them if you want to by going in and delete that segment until it becomes smooth. But we don't have to do that. It's just so little, like, can't really see it. When you render, especially unless you close up, you will see a little crease there. Okay, okay so now we can template this by putting inside mesh layers. Here we go. Okay. So, this guy, we need to stop continuity. Control 1, and on the this section, you need to extrude instead of cut so that it get uniform space extrude offset how about 0 0.5 0 0.05 here we go you want it to be a little sharp um, 0.5 is good enough here we go. and then this section you can do multi cut or you can do extrude too. Let's do extrude on the side too. Easier, quicker. Extrude, offset, 0.5. There we go. The back side, same thing. Extrude, 0.5 offset, and we're done. When we press 3, it looks good. Control 1, here we go. Okay, so now this section, oh, hey guys, forgot. 
press one. We need to stop continuity on the uh, center, right? So the center, I'm gonna press one. You're gonna use a uh, offset edge loop so that you can do it only one time, uh, just once. Here we go. Make it closer. Here we go. Press three, done. Okay, so now let's take a look at on the hood. The hood is, uh, it's not that complex, but it has a little section we need to deal with. So we got this section and then that section and the center are uh, kind of hint. And let's count, we don't, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow. Eleven. Would be nice if you get even number. So eleven would be twelve. Or uh, twenty-two. In order to do that. Now um let's split this apart. So let's cut multi cut. We're gonna cut this section. Can you see? Make it go down to right there. Right there. So it's about right here. Now, before you do multi cut, you need to use symmetrical. So that left and right, they are same. Symmetry, object X. So now if I switch to four, when I turn on a multi cut, can you see the other side? should be cut too. Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me check the object geometry. It's X, so object X, that's right. Symmetrical object X. Let me double click on move to object good. So it's object X, multi-cut, and cut right around there. Hold control key, cut it. Hey, why it's not X? Hold on, it's not, doesn't do symmetrical. Let me uh, do, oh, it has to be on move to, move to is on object mode, turn on move so that we can see. It's object X, why? Hey guys, I can't get the uh, symmetrical. So anyway, if I can't get symmetrical, this is what I need to do. So I'm gonna turn off symmetrical, I don't know why. Um, you hold control key with shift, so that is snap 10. And then my will be 120, so 20. So from here, 10, 20. Now they will be equal. And um, you will extract these four phases. Extract. The reason that we use extract instead of build a new object because it's faster. And we get exactly same shape we wanted, the perpendicular to it. Can you see? There we go. So now we need 11 span. Let's do 10. We don't have to do 11 same as that guys we could just do 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay 9 inside so 10 span and middle that's a no just do 10 easier so to cut the span to 10 um we could do a one moment. Insert is loop to open up option. Here we go. And we're going to turn on multiple is loop equal multiplier. We want 10 span, so 20. 20 is, I think. 
20 edge will get 10 span. And then that's it. And click, we get even number. So let me undo. Okay. So go to object mode. You select, shift, right mouse click, and choose insert edge loop, edge loop 2. Right here, insert edge loop 2. Open up option and choose multiple uh, multiple edge loops. Use equal multiplier so it's equal span. And we can start it with 10, 20. 20 edge loop, we probably get about 10 span. And then just one click, and it will add equal amount of the space. Right. Now, before you move on, you have to reset that too, because when you try to use multi card another, it might keep going to do like multiple loop. Okay. So the reason that we do this is because later on we're going to lay it out that tube and connect them. That's what it is. Okay. So before we do anything else, we need to split these apart again because left and right. Here we go. So select face, pick. Hey guys, uh, if you can't, you have to isolate it. Control one. It's just because um, the group node is priority of selection. Hey. Oh, I'm still on the. Sorry, my bad. Here we go. And s split it, extract, left and right. Here we go. Okay. And I think I do it wrong. Uh, ten loop. This is too many. <laughs> it's okay. Um, hey guys, sorry, my bad. It's too many edge. So you can remove uh, half of it. Double click, sorry, my bad. It's too many. Here we go. Yep, it is too many. <laughs> sorry. Get rid of the loop. I think it's 10 span, not line, it's span. I was confused with the line and span. Here we go. That's about right. <laughs> and then now create a cylinder, and you're going to. Hit delete. Oh, 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 you mean to extract? Just like what we did before. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's it. Right. <coughs> and um, when you get the cylindrical, just rotate 90 degree. Because we're going to build this section, we're going to prepare to build that rod. Right there. there we go. Did you move the cylinder up there manually? Because it won't let me match translation. No, no, I move manually. Okay. And you might need to use site view to look at it. You want it to be. Let me look. I think they are kind of on top. My radius need to be really small. And um, hey guys, uh, subdivision, just do six this time. Subdivision exit six. You want us to have a cap on? Um, yeah, let's remove cap to zero. Okay. It's just because we're going to have to delete them, the cap. Like we really need to delete it. And you're going to have to move it to the center like that. Here we go. I think mine has to be 0.15. It's too small. And make it long. Let 
Make it long. It's about the same length. I think mine is a 31. Oh, 32, sorry. A little longer is fine. Here we go. Like that. And I'm going to have to rotate just a bit. Um, might be a good idea, guys. Change your pivot point to the end. Press D, hold V key, and then just snap to that vertex. So that is easier. You can hold V key and snap to vertex to the tip of the hood, you know, like that. And then you can rotate it. And my face transform, modify face, so that we can use a, um, because it's going to be hard, can you see? Try to rotate like this. So I'm going to do point 0.5. Oh, perfect. Actually, mine is going to be point 0.4 angle. Your angle might be slightly different. Point four five. Four Why five exactly are you uh, rotating? Oh, to get it lined up exactly on there? Right. Okay, I got you. On the hood. Because the hood is kind of a, a little slope, like a little bit of slope. They are not straight line. Okay. And after you snap, I can see that my length has to be 31. You are my... Oops. Oh, here we go. I can't do 32. Here we go. I'm going to scale it down instead. I scale a little bit to match. Okay. Now, we're going to have to divide it into similar. Can you see? Similar. So I will get one there. And this, actually, this one can be, no, I'm going to just leave it there. So now, 10. The uh, subdivision height, here we go. I think 10, one, let me count one. So basically, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven has to be 11 on my. Okay. So when you get to this point, this is the only thing you need to do next. You're going to move the edge, look. To match like that. Come on. Here we go. And doesn't have to be a uh, perpendicular to the rod because it's really slightly offset, it's okay, so just move it. No, no, I, I go back to the uh, primitive oh. cylinder and then change the subdivision. To 11. Yep. If, if you cannot do that, just cut it. Like control, cut, uh, insert okay. S loop, um, multi cut to with control key. You just try to match it, that's all. Because later on, we're going to have to uh, trim it.
And um, I am not going to do exactly like this. This one, can you see on the tip, there's shorter. I'm gonna just let it same size, except for the bottom, uh, from the, the this section. It's okay. Just a little detail that we don't need. So now, the next thing I want you to do is, I want you to select and skip each gap. We're gonna extract it, make it become a single piece. Extract, here we go. And then now, this is one object. Can you see? If I go to modify center pivot, so they are one object. We don't want them to be one object. Sp uh, separate. Now become multiple object because it's a uh, one element. Here we go. So, because one of these, we're gonna alternate. This one will belong to this side. This second one belong to the left, to the right, and so on. Okay. So, now, before we do anything else, these need to be thick so that we can combine them with this, attach it. So extrude, and to extrude it, it's local extrude, let's point one, one is too thick, point one, here we go, point one is about right. Here we go, it looked like this, can you see? And actually, I could quite kind of try to match it a little better. How about point one five? Point one two five. I think that's good enough. Point one two five. What are you matching? The, oh the I see. Right, that is. Because we're gonna combine them on those pieces. Okay. So this one gonna have to be the same. Extrude it and same height, 0.125. Here we go. Okay. Now, I'm gonna put things I don't need to see so I'm gonna select these two. One, two, three. Here we go, like this. We're gonna put into uh, another layers temporarily. So I click at layer with selected object so that I can hide them. So I want to hide it. Okay, like that. Okay, so now, this section, we need to trim a little more because it's too far right there. Can you see? Multi-cut. Oh, sorry. Got to select the object first. Object more. Multi-cut. We need to trim this. Oh, now, <laughs> my symmetries work. <laughs> oh, come. I'm going to turn it off. I don't want any symmetry. Here we go. So multi-cut. We need to shorten that direction. Well, don't don't cut it. Sorry. Let's move this instead. Grab that. Shift double click. Oh. Make sure you select only the faces that on the inside. Turn on move to, and we cannot just move it. We have to move them perpendicular to the edge of this edge. So shift, oh sorry, W key, left mouse button, axis, custom, set to edge, and then pick that edge. Here we go. So that we can move like this. We just want, here we go, to be like that. Okay. And we want it kind of like clipping in the, in the side of it, but not. Right. Yes. 
I mean, give a little space is fine. Like this. Okay. But not even inside the tube. No, no, just a little space. I mean, if it's inside, it's still okay because we're going to merge them. Well, we're going to uh, kind of attach them together. And now, we're going to have to combine this in order to make it work. Select all, combine. So now they become a single object with multiple elements. So delete history, save, just in case. And this is what you need to do. These two phase, we're going to bridge it. So select the phase there, one and two. They have to be equal amount of the spheres. So it's only two spheres. Shift right mouse click and choose bridge. Bridge spheres. Bridge it. Here we go. Now when you bridge it, I got an error. I know why. Let me undo quick. Because this is open. That's open. So we got to close that. To close it, go to object mode and just fill hole. Here we go. Got to fill hole. And after you fill hole though, we're going to fix this. Multi-cut. Cut them half. If you don't cut it, what happens is it might give an error when we bridge the face. Oh. So, use multi-cut to cut, enter, and a bridge phase will work if they all close as phase, like closed phase, not closing to each other, like cap. Four is better. Right. This is already four. Because the six side, when you split in half, it becomes four faces, two four faces. Right. And now I should be able to bridge these two faces together. Here we go. Now it's correct. Can you see? They are become one. And if you do the bridge one, you just select the face and press G to repeat the command. And you're going to do the same with the other side. Exactly the same technique. Ouch. So how do we repeat the command? Pardon? How do we repeat the command? You just select both the faces? On yep. The face that are kind of uh, perpendicular to each other, they are separate element. And then yeah. you shift right mouse click and bridge. Right. You said hit G. Oh, okay. Oh, G is a repeat command. Okay. So after you do bridge command, you can press G now when you select it. But you have to still have to select two faces. You got it, right? Uh, yeah, I just had, I was thinking that I could just do it when the faces were still there, but I thought the faces. Got you. So now I can bring this back and I can put that inside that layer. And then I can remove it. Here we go. And do the same. This section you need to fill whole. Um, this area, don't forget, you got to move this up apart, like the edge. Oops. That one. Turn on move to W left mouse click axis custom set to edge. Here we go. 
just give a little space. I think I'm gonna make a little more space right there. Here we go. All right. To one. So now I'm gonna combine them. Fill hole and then cut and delete history. Multi cut. Yes. Yeah. I got to go to bathroom. Oh guys, um, on Friday, we will. I changed my mind. I am not going to conduct the class, but I'm gonna give you a video, so you can do it at any time you want to on the video. And basically, I think I'm gonna get to this part, and most likely will be just. Probably, I'm going to skip the body here quick, and then I'm going to just move on to the step, the side, and the fin here. And that's it for Friday. Okay, so Friday will be this side of the hood, and then the bottom section. So, on the fender. That's it, on Friday. And then next week, we'll, uh, after Thanksgiving, um, I'm going to give out more video. And I'm going to also uh, have a class time, but not the lecture. Lecture will be on video from after Thanksgiving so that I can add more video lecture. Oh, hey, guys, I forgot. Look at the detail right on the bottom here. Can you do that on your own? Right there. Same technique. You don't need to punch. Uh, you punch the hole, but you don't need to add any... I don't think there's anything in there. Just only a cylindric, uh, a spherical shape. So that one would be the eas uh, easier than the, the top one because it's not even ellipse. It's just like pure cylindrical when you start it. Okay, I think I'm ready to bridge it. Don't forget to delete history so that won't crash on you.
Hey guys, um, if you get this problem, this is twisting. Yeah, I just got that problem. Um, I believe the normal, that was the problem with this. Uh, we could do, let's do minus. No, that's not working. So, so we do. Um, in that case, in this case, you need to do this instead. Select, delete the face inside, and then use a pen to fix that problem. So, in a mesh to a pen, and then you just a pen edge to edge. One to there, here we go, like this. And press Y to repeat the two. A little bit more work, but that's all we need to do. If it twist. Okay. And then now you could try another one, see if one there to here. These ones work. Hopefully only one that I have. We'll see. Yep, there's a bad one. Only one bad. It could be um, there was something open. Oh, I got two bad ones. <laughs> okay, this one too. So delete the face, two faces, and then use a pen to polygon to. Click on the uh, opposite edge, and then go around it. Do it uh, each pair. Here we go. And delete history. Save. Control one. And now we got that shape. Here we go. And then um, we're going to have to stop continuity. Here we go. So um, before we stop continuity, there's one thing, guys, right there. That one you just extrude it, basically. So you pick, I think I'm going to cut right there. Let's do multi-cut multi to, and I think I'm probably going to have, I'm going to hold shift right one shift 10 20 30 I'm eyeballing it so how about 40 here we go so 40 and then I'm gonna add now 41 10 20 so just here we go And we need to do that on the other side too, right? Right. Hold on. Let me think quick. It's it just what I'm seeing is um. Can you see it, it discontinuity on the curve? So that will not work. Hold on. What we can do is we can do bevel instead. I think bevel will work better. I'm gonna just double click on that one first. Bevel. Yep, let's do that bevel, and bevel fraction will be, how about, one, two, I want it curve. Did you uh, control, did you undo both of those edges? Yeah. Right. Hold on, guys. No, that won't work. Nope, nope, nope. We got to sacrifice it, so right, let's cut right here instead. I think that would work. So we're going to hold shift. It's about 10. 
like that. Same as this side. Multi cut, hold shift key with control. Here we go. Is that the same side? Okay. And then basically, you're gonna select the face from the outside, not 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 right there. And then you just extrude it. So now you're gonna move how about like that? So it's about point 0.1. Let's get the uh, even number, point 0.1. Okay. And then when you get point 0.1, same thing as this section. Extrude point 0.1 also on the local translate. Now let's press 3 to see how it looks. I think we may have to, uh, let me check. It's okay. I think that's good. It's a little thinner, but that's okay. So now, let's stop continuity. Multi-cut. Cut right there. One. Okay, and then we're going to have to cut a lot on the tube. Let me go control one so that isolate it. Here we go. Now on the tube, I cut basically hey guys if we cut it right this hold on let me try so you're gonna have to cut a lot can you see each section is each span right there lots of cut I mean, if you like, hold shift key when you cut, add control shift, so that um, you get a, a similar space on each cylinder. We need to cut on the very edges as well, like the two Yes. Edges. Yeah, just like this. It's as long as they look straight, uh, look sharp line. If it doesn't, cut it. And press three to see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Control one. Oops. Wrong one. Object one. Control one. Not shift delete. And I think that's it for today.
Oh, what I did. Ouch. Oh.